The second half of BYU basketball is about to begin. Alongside Mark Durant, here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, on the new skin, BYU well, Sports Network. All BYU has to do is start the second half the way they began the first half, and they'll be just fine in this one, Mark. Yeah, that was something else, the way they started this game. Fizzled a little bit towards the end of the half, but they'll have the ball here, and Dallin Hall back in the game, so uh, a new half. I'd be happy if Dallin plays 20 minutes here in the second half. He's well-rested. He's rested. He's going to have his hands full with Darius Johnson. He Into is. a three for Dallin Hall. Okay. Yes, there we go. That's how you start the second <laughs> half. Look at the smile on Dallin's face. That's how he comes into the second half. Sitting the final 10 minutes plus in the first half, and he knocks down the three to give BYU a 12-point lead to start half number two. That was awesome. What a big shot coming out of the half time. Darius Johnson, who heated up high to Allen. Allen, corner, three. Good by C.J. Walker. Scoreless in the first half, and he answers Dallin Hall's three with a three. Nine-point game, 50-41. to 41. Feeling they're not going away. Just no room. <laughs> Despite the fact the lead's been pretty good all night. Dallin will drive it, float it, and miss it at the rim, and UCF on the rebound. C.J. Walker, no points in the first half, and scores a three to start the second half for UCF. Driving reverse lay-in, good. It's a seven-point game. It's a whole new ball game, folks. BYU's 18-point lead in the first half is a distant memory. 50-43 to 43 is our score. C.J. Walker, scoreless in the first half, starts with five to start half number two. Khalifa terminates on the right wing to Nell for three, and that's huge. <laughs> BYU with two threes on two tries in the second half. And the Cougs back up to a double-digit lead at 53-43. to 43. But getting stops is the problem. And there Walker. it is again. C.J. Walker, seven points in the first 90 seconds for UCF. 53-45, it's an eight-point game. BYU bangs two threes, and UCF is making up ground. UCF's been turned on, Mark, and they're not being turned off. Right wing, Spencer Johnson. Johnson, low to Nell. A little push shot right at the rim. Nice. Oh, and it goes. A little nice shooter's roll there off the back rim. BYU has been very good to open half number two, three for four from the field. 55-45. They just can't get stops. There's there a stop. Go. It's a three-point miss. And then Waterman That's gets hammered across yeah. the back. It should be a foul, and it is. So a loose ball foul number one of the second half. 17-39 to play till halftime. It Could is be. so tough to get rebounds on this UCF team. Could be three on Diallo. No, it's on Walker. So Walker's got his first. Diallo with two in the first half, as Mark notes. BYU in four court. Nearly turned over and is turned over. Driving it the other way, Shamari Allen right to the rim. Fouled on his way to the hoop. That's just crazy. I mean, it looked like BYU had thought the play had died or something. I know Khalifa's slow, but, man, that was just slow developing. It's, UCF gets it. Goes down and gets fouled on the shot. Yeah, it's just... I'm not pleased with the effort right now. BYU's kind of getting outworked. They're hitting shots, yes, and keeping them ahead, but the, they're not doing a good job defensively at all. Shamari Allen, one for two at the free throw line. Makes the first of two. He's now two for three, four points. BYU basketball brought to you by Sierra West Jewelers. Diamonds direct, lowest prices, and three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West Jewelers, we price match. One for two again for Shamari Allen. BYU on the rebound. Nine-point game, 55-46. Dallin Hall runs it high. Dallin left wing Spencer Johnson to the top, to the paint. They're all over the ball. And Spencer taps it to Hall. Hall low nice. to Waterman, who lays it up and in. And that was kind of a volleyball possession. The ball's being tapped around, and finally it ends up in Waterman's hands. So the Cougars are getting the makes. Mark, can they get a stop at the other end? I don't know. I don't know at this point. Darius Johnson to the rim. Scoops, misses. Rebound there Johnson. Go. There it is. A miss and a rebound. And BYU into four court. Dallin Hall took a hit. Was slow to get up and come up the floor late. But he does join the fray. BYU by 11. Another turnover for BYU in the four court. A tie up and it will go to UCF on the arrow. BYU. 
with some turnover trouble early in half number two, up to six for the game. UCF only at three, and that kind of magnifies the disparity there. And it's UCF ball. BYU trudges back to the other end. Yeah, it was a jump ball, so UCF basketball. And yeah, only four turnovers in the first half for BYU, but already two here in the first three minutes. The lead's 11. So why does it feel like two or three? <laughs> yeah, for, Ali Khalifa was so good with those threes early. He just seems really tired and slow right now. I think it's a good move to go with Foose early here in the second half. Yeah, one of the challenges of this week is to try and get Ali to play multiple games in multiple days, which he's not been doing this year. A Euro to the rim and another foul. And UCF is just forcing the issue in such a notable way since going down 18 in the first half. They just said, we're going to hit the gas, drive, draw contact, go hard, crash glass on offensive rebounds, and they've made it work to narrow a lead. It's now 11, 57-46, and again, we reiterate that 18-point lead's coming in handy because UCF never let it get pushed beyond that. Step back three, missed by Sellers, and Waterman taps the rebound Hall, and BYU's into four court. All right, 16-16 to play. Darius Johnson bodying Hall. Hall will stop at the elbow, high to Foos. Foos will jab, begin to dribble left. Hall, open for three, takes it, misses it. Rebound to UCF, three on one the other way. UCF in transition, Darius Johnson layup, score easy. So, Johnson's got 15. And the lead back to single digits. 57-48. It was nine points at halftime. It's nine points now. The under 16-minute media timeout coming on the whistle. I see Spencer Johnson's got a wrap now on his right thumb. He heard it in the last game. Another turnover. Oh, it falls into Johnson's hands. A show, a block out of bounds. Timeout on the floor. BYU basketball next. UCF within nine. 57-48. Taking the under 16-minute media timeout. 15-39 to play here in Kansas City on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Your home for BYU basketball is the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Cougar fans, dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody. From burgers to wings, shakes to salads, JCW's quality and a lot of it in Lehigh. American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and Harriman. After a miserable start in which uh, UCF trailed 21-3, the Knights have been right with BYU the rest of the way. BYU still shooting 50% from the field, 50% from the arc, and 84% from the free throw line. You normally don't lose games with those numbers, but a number of note is UCF has still taken 11 more field goal attempts than BYU. They've out-rebounded BYU by two, and by six on the offensive glass, 10 to four. So UCF doing just enough to hang around. And that brings us to 15 minutes and 39 seconds to play here in half number two at the T-Mobile Center in Kansas City. Winner gets Texas Tech tomorrow morning at 10.30 Mountain Time. BYU plays the early game both days. Should they win today, they get the early call tomorrow. Also waiting on BYU's side of the bracket, Houston, should the Cougars get through their game tomorrow. Houston, the regular season champion by two games this year in the Big 12. So BYU's pacing for an 80-point performance in the Mark Pope era. BYU is 62-7 when they get to 80, including a 16-1 mark this year. That's usually a good sign for BYU, and they're sitting at 57 with still 15-39 to play. All right, as we check back in, it is BYU basketball, a baseline trigger for Dallin Hall. BYU 57, UCF 48. So the second half score is 10-10. As BYU led by nine at halftime and leads by nine now. Dallin Hall missed most of the first half with foul trouble. Jackson Robinson in the game. Richie Saunders in the game. Foose in the game. Along with Hall and Nell. Jackson will drive it. Turn around in the paint. Lean in. Squeeze it up and miss it strong. Rebound Saunders. Slaps out but to Shamari Allen. And UCF can make it a seven or six point game. Driving lane score. It's so easy, Mark, for UCF right now. They get out in transition and they are scoring at will. And 57-50. And Jackson Robinson's miss leaves him now two for five from the field in this game. Uh, UCF getting out, off to the races there. Richie thought he could tip it to Dallin, but tipped it to a Knight, and then they were off. 
Trevin Nell Ooh. turned it over on the inbounds. Almost. Dude. Almost. They're going to say off Allen, but UCF is just voracious right now. They they All feel right. like they think they're going to win this game. They got a blood in the water moment right here. This would be a big possession just to get it into four court. Seems like a challenge for BYU right now. 57-50. UCF is all over everybody right now. Robinson takes the inbound. <laughs> it's be interesting to see if BYU, I mean they're up 7, but they they look like they're on their heels. BYU was laughing up 21 to 3, but it's clenched teeth here in the second half. Tra- Dallin Hall at the free throw line. Bounces nice. low to Foose. Foose, a nice strong move to the front. Jump hook with a right hand over the left shoulder. No hesitation of what Foose wanted to do there. It's a big make to make it 59-50. Let's call it a Zions Bank shot of the game by Fuseni Troyori. It feels big for BYU. It's brought to you by Zions Bank. For 150 years of helping you succeed, Zions Bank is for you. The Cougars get the steal and pick up the foul too, do they not? That will be a foul on uh, Jackson. Just having trouble staying in front of their man. They did so well early, but now Sellers, Johnson just blowing by their defenders, getting to the rim. BYU's got to get a stop here. Restore a double-digit lead on the other end. 14.35 to play, 59-50. A bobble and leaving it on the floor there was Antoine Jones, but he collects it short corner. A double comes to Jones. A pass out to Darius Johnson, three-point range right side. Down to a five-second shot clock. Step back three for Johnson. Yeah. If that's going to go in for you, which it did, uh, that, he's, he, that, that's a sign of a guy that's in the zone. Well, we've seen it before, right? He had 20 in the second half at the Marriott Center. That's crazy tough It's a six-point game. It's a whole new ball game from when BYU led 18 early in this one. 59-53. UCF, three for its last three from the field. Absolutely incandescent right now. Dallin Hall tries to bounce a pass in the pocket. And it gets kicked out of bounds with a 4.8 second shot clock. 13.56 to play. Yeah, I like the idea of more Foos. Get him touches. That seems to be the real kind of thing working for BYU right now. Dallin Hall baseline send in. Slow, slow. Saunders collects it after a bobble. Had to shoot it. Desperation, shot clock violation. Throws up the three, not close. UCF running it the other way, and running is the operative word right now. Shamari Allen bangs into Trevin Nell. Johnson to make it a three-point game. Absolutely. Uh, timeout. Got to call time. Oh, and, a, and was well, he fouled? Boos is on the ground with, I think, a foul away from that shot. Well, it's not like we haven't seen it before, but we're seeing it again. Uh, A big lead has been all but erased. And 59-56, UCF is within one possession of taking the lead. And, again, we've seen this before, too. Darius Johnson. He's now got 21 points, Mark. And back at the Marriott Center, he had zero points at halftime. Hit a 20-point second half. He had 33 on the weekend in Fort Worth. And... BYU doesn't have those kinds of players. The ones that when they get turned on, they simply go, 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 and and no one's stopping them. It's a 6 nothing UCF run right now. They made their last four from the field. Now they're going to the monitor to see what happened away from play on this three-point make. But when Darius Johnson shoots it, I just wait for the crowd noise because right now he can't miss. Yeah, these guys are good in this league, and uh, if they get started, it's hard to stop them. So it'll be a real challenge now to, to cool him off and... Uh, and BYU's having trouble getting things offensively now. They, they've done so well all game long getting points, but now everything going against them, that's what momentum does, and it's it's slipping away from BYU. So this is an important, I don't know if this is a timeout or just a stop, it's just to regroup your guys because uh, they are on their heels. UCF yeah. is just attacking, and BYU, no response right now. And there's still so much time yeah, left. Still. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's not even, the 18 point lead doesn't even matter at this point. Now, before this year, BYU era, or rather Mark Pope era BYU had never lost a regular season game after having a double-digit lead at halftime. It's already happened twice this year. And this one wasn't double-digit. It was nine, but but the lead was 18 in the first half, and and it's just been a, a real struggle for BYU to cement large leads this season. It's the Big 12, and, and a lot of coaches will tell me, 
you know, you're not going to run away from anybody in this league, and it's very true. It's it, it, it's it's tough to do. Wow. But so, it's just kind of a, a recurring theme, and, and it turns out that UCF's yeah. going to get the ball the foul, after the make. I think on Trevin Nell on the rebound, wow. and so they'll get the ball after the three-point make. So UCF can play for a six-point possession here and tie the game with a three. Darius Johnson, drive, scoop, miss, rebound, not a bounds off of Johnson, fortunately, for BYU. He threw a hand up at the last second. Well, the Cougs have been granted a reprieve. Well, it's a three-point <laughs> game with 13.28 to go. They still have the lead, so there's that. Dallin Hall, full court right side. Runs it left, stops at the top. Down to the left elbow. Johnson straight away. UCF is just bouncing around the floor right now. Foose on a pocket pass, gets fouled on his way up. He should get two free throws on this. Kip Kissinger is going to make the call on Johnson, and that'll be the third on Darius Johnson, I do believe. Foul situation four for BYU, two for UCF. Just two, just two on Johnson, beg your pardon. Two on Darius. Free throws by Foose. And that spins out. And it's that kind of feeling right now. Yeah, I mean, this is when uh, somebody needs to step up. Dallin Hall, Spencer Johnson, Jackson Robinson to, to, to kind of try and match what Johnson's doing on the other end. Foose does hit that one, four for six. Johnson, 21. To lead UCF, Traore and Nell, 12 apiece to pace BYU. Trevin's two for two from deep in this game. 60-56, BYU in front, 12.55 to play. Again to the rim, going for the dunk and missing at the rim is Sellers, but it's a tie-up on the rebound. It should go to BYU on the arrow. Good contest there from Foos to, to stop the dunk, and then Dallin does, doesn't get the rebound, but he yeah. does tie it up in BYU basketball. And maybe this becomes a, a key moment here. Let's see, because... The, they have the dunk for a two-point game there. It's rejected. BYU gets the tie-up, and now the Cougs have the ball plus four. So you make this six or seven, maybe get a little more of a cushion here. Maybe this uh, 12.50 to play mark becomes pivotal for BYU. Big stop. Can they get a make on the other end? Dallin Hall gets Johnson going over the screen, underhands it to Foose at the free throw line, a head fake. Knock away, take away by UCF. They fall on the sideline with it. This should be out of bounds off UCF, right? I think the player who stole it ended up on the sideline with the ball but man alive mark they're on everything right now well they know BYU wants to go to Foose and then once he puts it on the floor they're they're attacking him so he needs to be very aware of guys around him when he touches the ball Spencer Johnson sideline trigger bounce into Hall BYU made two threes early in the second half haven't made one in a while Dallin on the arc right side Dallin will drive it, get right to the rim, and pass it out to Johnson. Johnson on the arc with a two-second shot clock with one. Oh, he drew the foul. Well done. Well done by Spencer Johnson. With a one-second shot clock, he draws the shooting foul on the left baseline. It goes to the free throw line for two. There's big free throw tries here for Spencer in a four-point game, 60-56. to 56. BYU's trying to hang on here in Kansas City. But they're not yet in hang-on territory. Still 12-22 to play. But good effort by Spencer to get it up and draw the foul. Two big free throws here. Smart play. Senior. He's got that wrap on his hand. Yep. Makes it. Yeah, he left the gym on Saturday with his uh, right thumb iced, and now he's got it with a wrap. And so... Add it to the list of players who have maladies they're playing through for BYU. Dallin Hall will sit, and Jackson Robinson's going to run the point for BYU. Saunders and Jackson in the backcourt with Johnson, Waterman, and Foos. Jackson needs to be super focused bringing the ball up because UCF's on the attack. Two for two for Spencer. And it's a six-point lead. (laughs) 62-56. Yep. Again, that dunk a moment ago would have made it two and would have brought the building alive on the UCF side. See if the Cougars can get a few stops here. String a few stops together and cool off Darius Johnson. And yes, Darius charges into Spencer Johnson. And for Darius, that is now number three. Terrific defense by Spencer on Johnson, who's just been so hot. And maybe the tide is turning a little bit here. 
That's consecutive stops for BYU, and that also turns into a turnover, but only the fourth of the game for UCF. They've taken excellent care of the ball. 12.09 to play. Jackson's going to check out. Robinson, that is. So Dallin Hall back in after a very quick blow. So it's Hall, Spencer Johnson, Richie Saunders, Noah Waterman, and Ali Khalifa. Khalifa's back in the game. you got to think in this stage of the game, up six. Coach Pope's going to go to a Khalifa special here, try to get something easy before the under 12-minute media timeout. Richie Saunders into Spencer Johnson. Pressing in backcourt are the Knights. They will back off a little bit, but Sellers does hound Hall at the timeline. Knocked it away from Dallin. He got it back. They're just on everything, right? Dallin left side. Waterman. Waterman Saunders on the arc left. Khalifa up high. Ali bounces once. Releases out to Hall with a 10-second shot clock. Dallin. A pick and pop to Khalifa. Right wing Johnson. Low Waterman. Noah Waits goes up and nice. scores off the window. Nice. BYU by 8, 64 to 56. 11.35 to go. Great pump fake and patience from Noah. Shamari Allen missing at the rim. Offensive rebound to C.J. Walker. Reset. Driving base is Jones. Short on the shot. Rebound BYU. Now they're getting stops. And they're running into forecourt. Johnson. Waterman. Oh, wow. Down the lane. Richie open three. Got it! It's an 11-point lead, a 7-0 run Time out. for BYU. Timeout. We're taking it. 11.09 to go, and the tide has turned for the moment here in the second half. Make an 8 nothing spurt for BYU. 67-56. We're taking the 11.09 time on the clock break, the under 12-minute media timeout break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Well, Florida State pulling away from Virginia Tech in their second round matchup at the ACC tournament. Florida State up by 7, 80-73 with under a minute to go. And in the American, it's Wichita State leading Rice by 4, 56-52, still 15 and a half minutes to go in that one. Back out to T-Mobile Center. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Jason, thank you. Darius Johnson was on a heater. Back-to-back threes made it a three-point game. 59-56 with 13.40 to play. Over the next two minutes and change, BYU's gone on an 8-0 run to answer those back-to-back threes from Darius Johnson. Foose with a free throw. Spencer, two free throws. Noah with a layup. And then seconds ago, Richie Saunders with what feels like the shot of the day for BYU. A three-pointer to give BYU a double-digit lead. It's back to double digits. The Cougars' last double-digit lead was at 57-46, to and that was six minutes ago on the clock. And now with 11.09 to play, it is BYU leading UCF 67-56. to It took a few consecutive stops. It took a few consecutive makes. But we identified a moment a few to- a few uh, just a couple minutes ago, Mark, that maybe this is a time... That, that BYU could actually push it back a little bit. And, and they've done just that. They're getting some timely stops and no bigger shot than Richie's three a moment ago. Terrific shot. Great unselfish play from Noah to kick it out to Richie rather than force the two. And BYU's doing a better job. I mean, Johnson, uh, Darius was on fire. And so you put your cooler on him, which is Spencer Johnson. And he's done a good job cooling him down a little bit. And then BYU just making better plays and this team's been resilient all year Greg and showing some resilience here in the middle of this game we'll see if uh, UCF uh, punches itself out here they were down 18 in the first half got it to within three here in the second half BYU since pushed it back to 11 Darius Johnson 21 to lead UCF shovels it out on the wing right side to Shamari Allen Allen will pass from the free throw line straight away to CJ Walker Walker goes right corner three from the corner is in and out from Tierno Silla yeah, you want that and That's BYU on the rebound Silla is only a 29% three point shooter Dallin Hall wing right have the Cougars found their footing here in half number two. Khalifa operates, stripe extended right side. Hands out to Hall. Hall jumps a pass to Khalifa. Ball fakes it. High to Hall. Hall beats a taller man to the rim. Scoop and score! Dallin Hall! And 69-56. BYU by 13. Wow, and the Cougar lead now is, or Cougar run is 10 nothing. A three miss at the other end. And Richie has the rebound. Now the Cougars are getting stop after stop and make after make. It is BYU 69, UCF 56. Richie 
fakes it from three, drives the key, passes out to Ali for three. No, man, the BYU fans ready to explode, but no, it drifts out of bounds. A more or less air ball from Ali. He was feeling the moment. <laughs> All right, 10.04 to go. We'll take the under 12-minute media timeout. The last timeout was the bonus timeout of the second half. So we break again. We're down to a 10-minute basketball game and a 13-point lead for BYU. The Cougs are currently on a 10-0 run. Our score is BYU 69, UCF 56. Cougs looking to close it out and set up a meeting with Texas Tech tomorrow morning. This day is underway here in Kansas City, and what a game the fans have got in game one. We're taking a break. Cougs up 13 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back here at Kansas City, Missouri, T-Mobile Center, day one of the Big 12 Championship. Second round play, BYU and UCF. BYU the five seed, UCF the 12. 69-56 is the BYU lead. There was a stage of the game moments ago that we said felt pretty key, Mark, and with BYU leading it by four, four-point lead at 60-56, to 56, UCF, and it, was it Sellers, maybe Allen, had a drive-and-dunk situation, and it was contested, and, and the ball was rejected at the rim, and since then, BYU's gone on a run that since the free throw make of Traore is at 9 nothing, but the overall run's 10 nothing. Since that blocked dunk that could have made it a two-point game, it's been all BYU. And the Cougs are out to a 13-point lead with 10.04 to go. That was a big play. Foos got up there and got a piece of that, and then Dallin Hall wrestled for a jump ball to get possession. So that was a big play, and now UCF doesn't have that same look in their eye. What you want to do is make sure they don't get it back here. Shamari Allen starts at left. UCF left to right as we see it and you hear it here in the second half. Johnson gets right to the rim and drew contact. He will get free throws. And that's been a pretty reliable... uh Uh-oh. Ali Khalifa is down and being helped to his feet. He tried to take a charge and did not get there. And so it'll be free throws for Johnson. You really can't count on free throw misses from Darius. But you sense that he sensed the moment of... We're, we're, we're in a bit of a drought here. It was three minutes and 45 seconds without scoring. And Johnson said, I'm going to go. And he went and drew the foul. And they're going to lead to a monitor review off this play. What do you think they're looking for? Is it on the contact between Johnson and Khalifa? It seemed, it seemed pretty innocuous when it happened. But they're taking a look at it. Ali Khalifa has been... Really good. Early hit the threes and had some great passes, but he just seems uh, he seem to doesn't seem like himself. He seems a little bit slower, and and that's saying something for Ali Khalifa. But I mean, he, he makes him better when he's out there because he spreads the floor like he does and allows Dallin Hall to get you know get to the paint. But he just seems a little bit off today. Well, the two guys you just mentioned, Khalifa and Hall, lead BYU in plus minus today. Uh, Ali at plus twenty three and Dallin at plus twenty. Ali yeah. today, six points, five assists, no turnovers. So a five zero game right now I for wish Ali. I, was, I, I wish I was that good on an off night. I may, he's, maybe he's not having an off night. It's just my perception that he. He's a little bit fatigued no, today. But, 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 your, but your earlier point's the more important one, and that is good things happen when he's on the floor. Yeah, absolutely, because it brings Diallo or whoever, the seven-footer, out to guard him, which which leaves the, the, the dribble penetration lanes. That leaves it open for Hall and, and Johnson, and and uh, it's easier to rebound out of that when you have the big guy have, have to get out on Ali Khalifa. So he, he's important, obviously. He's such a unique player and adds such a dimension to BYU's offense, but uh, they're, they're going to say the foul on Khalifa. I don't think we got anything else. Flake, flagrant on UCF? Well, now. So we didn't see that, but let, let's look at this. It's, so Khalifa's called for a foul in which he goes up on Johnson. And then where does underneath Khalifa? I think that is that Sellers or no, that Silla is kind of moving backwards as Khalifa's up in the air. And that's why Khalifa hit the ground so hard, I think. Hmm. It wasn't an elbow. I think he just put Khalifa in danger as he pushed underneath him as uh, Khalifa had jumped. So Silla picks it up. That's his second. Khalifa makes the free throw. 
BYU by 14. Khalifa can make it 15. And then it will be UCF free throws at the other end, right? Yeah, yeah, Johnson should still get his free throws on the foul. But wow, that's a big though. To and get and the fact that Ali throws. made them both as well. He's a 60% free throw shooter, and those were pure. So 71-56. And this game, which was and, dicey and at four points. Free- oh, so so they own, so did not call a foul on on, I, on Khalifa. I'm almost positive they called a block, but maybe they say that happened. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They, the only foul called was on Silla. And so it ends up being a turnover. The Knights get no points, and BYU gets two and the ball. And the Cougars are in four court with Saunders to Khalifa up high. Huge play. Huge turnaround there. Johnson three. Missed it from the right side. Would have given BYU a game-high tying 18-point lead suddenly. 71-56. Step back three for Darius Johnson. Good again. Good again. 24 for Johnson. I'm not sure Making why. Tw- uh, 24, yes. Noah was guarding him. Spencer has done such a good job, but Noah was the one guarding him on that shot. Johnson keeping UCF in the game. 71-59 down to 12. Khalifa, top of the arc. Bounces away from pressure. Looks back to where it's not there with Waterman, so Hall will drive it free throw line. Back it up to the top of the keys. Take a three and make it! <laughs> Over Ibrahim Diallo! Yeah. Dallin Hall! His absence was crucial in the first half, and his presence is more than welcome in half number two. 74-59, BYU by 15. It was like Kansas. He was measuring Diallo and hits the three in his face. Baseline jumper missed. Rebound lay for Hall, who taps it to Waterman. Off the baseline miss from Darius Johnson. He's got 24. Misses there. BYU by 15 in four court. BYU's a hall of a lot better when (laughs) Dallin's on the floor. Dallin Hall, right wing. To the top again for three. In oh. and out. Oh, it was so close. It popped out. It was down and came out. Would have given BYU again that 18 point lead they had in the first half. But the Cougs have steadied the ship. And we've got with 8.17 to play a foul on BYU in the UCF forecourt. Non shooting foul. And UCF will trigger on the sideline. Mark, it feels like. The knockout punches almost ready to be thrown by BYU. That was close, too. That looked really good. and just barely clipped the front of the rim and kicked it to the back iron and out. But right on line for Dallin Hall. It's a 15-3 BYU run over the last five minutes as UCF's gone one for its last eight. UCF in four court, Sellers and Johnson. Johnson may end up with 30 in this game, but the the Cougars hope it comes in a losing effort. Spencer back on him as he will now try and free himself. Johnson hippity hops left and gets pushed by Spencer Johnson out front. That's going to be six. So UCF's going to be in the bonus the rest of the way. (laughs) BYU led 59 to 56 since then. 15 to 3 is the Cougar run. It started simply enough with a Fuseni Traore free throw. A give and go. Shamari Allen. Down the lane. Passes up high to Darius Johnson. On a 12-second shot clock. He pirouettes in the paint. Looking for help. Across the lane he goes to Diallo. Diallo jump hook is short. It's an air ball. Khalifa. And Richie Saunders comes down with it. Contest by Ali. Yeah, he couldn't. He ran into Ali and bounced off of him. BYU by him. 15. 20-second shot clock, 7.40 game clock. The under eight-minute media timeout coming on the whistle, and there's the whistle, and we're taking it. I feel you called that timeout just in yeah. Yep, so that'll be a timeout, 7.37 to play. We'll take the break. Full timeout, 74-59. Cougars lead by 15 over UCF. Looking to advance to tomorrow's play against Texas Tech. The Cougars are almost out of the woods. They can see the clearing. See if the Cougs can hack their way out after this on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the All-Pro Capital courtside seats and rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, back at T-Mobile Center here in Kansas City, Missouri. This town really embraces the Big 12 tournament. They've announced an extension through 2031 for this event. Great crowd support, Mark, in this uh, beautiful venue. Almost the entire lower bowl is is filled, and it will continue to fill up as the day goes along. Great, uh, Great turnout here for... Great basketball in Kansas City. Uh, hard to imagine a conference with more fan interest than the Big 12, and they're they're here in force. And BYU has has done a nice job filling 
uh, this arena up for this early game on a Wednesday. So nice. This, this is a great spot. Great facility. Great spot. And uh, it should be an exciting for this year. You know, BYU's so resilient. They've bounced back. Does UCF have it in them? Does Darius Johnson have more miraculous shots in him? We're going to find out right, right here. BYU has not trailed for a single second in this game yet. UCF took an 18-point deficit and whittled it down to four. Had a chance to make it two on a dunk. And I think, Mark, that block dunk turns out to be the play of the game in this game. Yeah, it took a lot of effort for them to get back in the game. And sometimes when you get back and then to have BYU then jump it back up again, it's, it's very defeating for that team. And it, it takes so much energy and resolve to get back in a game. Uh, and BYU did a good job fighting them off. And now it, it's a different UCF team who seemed almost unstoppable for a, a five or six minutes now. BYU's doing, able to get stops, get rebounds, and, and score on the other end of the court. So it's really been about momentum in this second half. Pretty impressive job for, from BYU to turn it. Mark, I want to ask you about the impact of the Dallin Hall foul situation in the first half. We've seen in the second half how important Dallin is to this team again. Was that as, as important as anything, do you think, in the first half with BYU losing uh, its momentum? He brings a certain toughness, and BYU kind of lost that towards the end of the first half, and He's able also to able to get to the rim better than anyone else on that guard line and put pressure and obviously a great passer. So all those things work against you when he's not on the floor. BYU basketball as we come back in. 7.30 to play. Spencer Johnson will drive beneath the hoop, hand off to Foos, but that's uh, tight quarters and a turnover. And UCF into four court. Just a uh, tough pass to make and complete. Three. Good. Left wing. Antoine Jones, he's got 13 off the bench. Nothing comes easy. 7-10 to go. It's a 12-point game against 74-62. Turnover on the BYU forecourt, and it turns into three the other way. Richie Saunders open for three left side. Won't take it. We'll drive it instead. Get right to hit it. Hit across the head, and we'll draw two uh, free throws on foul number six. Both teams will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Richie saw an opening. He took the punishment to get to the hoop. Didn't convert, but he'll get two at the free throw line. Credit this UCF team, though. Man, just still continuing to battle their way into at least shouting distance of BYU. A five for nine from three in the second half from UCF. They were shot 50% yesterday, so they like these rims as the free throw rims out for Richie. All of a sudden, you start getting uh, queasy again as yep. they're making threes. You miss free throw. Two. 0 for 2. You make it a 14-point game. You settle your footing again instead. It could be a single-digit game. Another shot. A turnover, a three, two missed free throws. It can happen pretty quickly. Jalen Sellers elbowing Hall out of the way. Misses at the rim. Offensive rebound, UCF. But then a turnover, a steal. We'll call it a Palmer's Metal Mart. Steal of the game as Fuseni Traore got into a short passing lane and pulled the ball away. The Metal Mart Steal of the Game brought to you by Palmer's Metal Mart, everyone's metal store for over 30 years. Proud sponsor of BYU basketball, Fuseni Traore with the Palmer's Metal Mart Steal of the Game. Jackson Robinson back in the game, drives rim and misses the lay-in. High off the window, not close. 74-62, BYU still by 12. 6-12 to play. Three, Jones, short, rebound Saunders, slapped it to Foose. Ahead, Jackson Robinson. Robinson will stop on the arc, now drive the lane, now get right to the rim, use Foose as a screen, miss it down low. Foose on the offensive rebound. Foose, they're all over him. Out to Richie for three. Yes! King Richard! Off the offensive rebound, the reset and score. BYU by 15, two huge threes for Richie here in the second half. He'll call timeout. And how about Foose, though, getting a couple a steal and got that rebound and got out, out in front of everybody, gets the offensive rebound, the assist to Richie. Great job by Foose. So Fuseni Triori and Richie Saunders, two bench players, making two massive plays here in the second half. They are super subs, and they're part of a bench brigade that is one of the best in the country. BYU sixth nationally in bench scoring. And Foos doing it on both ends. Richie with two massive threes in the second half. And BYU's leads back to 15 again, 77 to 62. A full timeout taken by UCF, but we'll stay right here with it. Or have we taken the under-8-minute media timeout? 
Mark, do you recall if we have? Everything gets so uh, don't recall. Gets so run together. I'm take a, a quick look back through our timetable here. And, uh, yeah, we already had the under eight minute media timeouts. This is a full timeout, but not a media, so we'll stay right here with it, as UCF called us. So UCF's down to no timeouts remaining. They are done with 5.46 to play. BYU still has two timeouts remaining. The Cougars back to a 15-point lead. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I, I want to exhale, and every time I get that feeling, <laughs> something happens to say that UCF's not dead yeah. yet. BYU's had all the answers to these runs. They but have. UCF... Until that last second ticks off the clock, I don't feel comfortable after what they did in the Marriott Center in that last minute. So we'll just see how it goes for BYU. But like you mentioned, 29 to 15 off the bench in bench scoring for BYU. So that bench is terrific. And Richie hits another big shot. I mean, the guy just makes play after play. 5.46 to play. We're back in. UCF out of timeouts. They got to play it out. Hope for the best. Darius Johnson has been one of the best on the floor today. Backs it up to the top of the arc. Johnson will stay with Johnson as Spencer tries to follow Darius, who scores in the and one, and is just answer after answer. And that's now 26 for Darius Johnson and a chance for 27 at the free throw line. 5.34 to go. And, Mark, we've called hundreds of games. And that final minute in Provo was the wildest final minute I think we've ever called. We saw 23 points in 54 seconds between the two teams as UCF made shot after shot after shot to somehow stay in the game when it appeared out of reach. And now we've got a game at 12 points, 77-65 on the Johnson three-point play. Dallin Hall in backcourt. Cougars beat press. They've got a two-on-one, but Richie will take the three and make it! (laughs) Left wing! What? What is he doing? He's making threes is what he's doing. 11 for Richie. BYU by 15 again. Bank and miss at the other end. Tip and miss at the other end. Off of Jocks and Robinson out of bounds. It'll be UCF basketball just needing a stop. 80 to 65. BYU hits the 80-point plateau on the three-pointer by Richie Saunders. No hesitation. He has Foos oh. beneath the basket. Richie says, I got this. It's just, it's just in their DNA. My, my, my whole DNA is slow it down. Pull it out. Don't shoot it. Richie says, no, nah, I'll shoot it. I'll make it. UCF basketball, though, as Robinson saw the ball go off his body out of bounds. Walker on the wing left has it batted away by Spencer Johnson. Walker gets it back. It's right to the rim, scoops and scores. So the failure to grab that rebound turned into two points for UCF. 80-67, to 67, 13-point game. UCF answer after answer, Mark. Big shot after big shot for BYU. And UCF not going away by any stretch. It's in their DNA. Dallin well, Hall. Under five now. We'll drive it, drop it on a pocket pass to Foose. He's held. They don't call the foul, and Foose misses the push shot. A rebound UCF. Foose's arm was yanked from behind. They missed it. Shamari Allen to the rim. Blocked by oh. Saunders and fouled by Saunders. Shamari's going to have two free throws. He's two of four at the line today. So on one end, you got Foose's arm being pulled back and no call. And on the other end, you've got Richie blocking a shot and being called for a foul. Yeah. Uh, certainly the block up high was beautiful. And they give him the whistle anyway. By the way, BYU's gotten to the 80-point plateau, which means you can text the words SUB ABOVE to 61090 for your chance to win a free sub from Jersey Mike's. Text the words SUB ABOVE 61090. You may win a free sub from Jersey Mike's. Shamari Allen makes the free throw, but he's gone one for two on three on two previous trips today. This makes it a 12-point game. This for 11. BYU gets it to 15. UCF closes. Another one for two trip. Mm, good rebound from Foos. Long so rebound. And Allen got it. three for six and Foos the rebound. And BYU gets it into four court. Spencer Johnson right side. Spencer Johnson pulls it up high to Dallin Hall. 4.20 to go in a 12-point game. Saunders takes a hit near the free throw line. Out to Dallin straight away. Dallin gets past Darius Johnson who picked his pocket. And then Spencer Johnson picks it right back. It's a three on two. Dallin will pull it out. No, he'll restart. Bank and miss. Tip. Rebound. UCF. Down floor. Knights, no time to waste. Darius Johnson drives past Saunders, takes it beneath the hoop. His drift pass is knocked out of bounds by Noah Waterman. 4.02 to play. Still a 12-point lead mark for a yeah. game that BYU's led for double digits for most of the day. It has been incredibly tense. Really, really tense. Still tense. And, you know, even though it's, it's not in their DNA, but 
maybe just use a little bit of clock. I mean, the clock is your friend. Use the 10 or 15 seconds. I didn't even notice. Oh, yeah, the player behind the play is down, uh, which leads us to an official timeout, and they may take this full as the clock is stopped with 4.02. I do think we'll take, well, let's see here. We're going to wait to see what the officials determine. They're going to the monitor first to determine why it is indeed that Shamari Allen is down behind the play. So we're currently staying here at 4.02. Shamari's up and walking off. And they're not at the monitor, so I don't think there's going to be anything to it other than UCF basketball off uh, Noel Waterman knocked it out of bounds on the baseline. Every possession just feels so vital in this game. UCF scoring so quickly too, Mark. I mean, they're just rolling down the floor. This is a UCF team averaging 71.5 points per game, and they're already at 68 with uh, 4.02 to play. This is after scoring three points in the first six minutes of the game. They were, you know, dead in the water early. And have rebounded in a big way to keep it competitive throughout. C.J. Walker up top. They cycle it around the arc right side. Now back to Sellers on the arc straight away. And drew the foul from Dallin Hall. He'll shoot three. Dallin Hall, when he picks up his third foul, it'll be three free throws after this. As UCF looks to make it a single-digit game again. The Cougars never quite pull all the way away. But we're now under four minutes to play. UCF shoots three to make it a nine-point game after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the all-pro capital courtside seats and rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU 80 and UCF 68 is our score with 3.54 to play here in Kansas City. So we've gotten to the under four-minute media timeout, the closing stretch. We'll see if the Cougars can close out the pesky Knights who have rallied from down 18 to get as close as three in this game, but no closer than that. Statistical note, courtesy of Tyson Jex, BYU basketball director of communications. He says Foose with three or more blocks in this game has done so for a ninth time in his career, and that's in the top ten, tenth most in program history. Nine games with three or more block shots for Foose. Foose has had a nice game. Twelve points, eight rebounds, and assist. And those block shots. And that block shot tally is at three. He also has a steal in a plus 19 game for Fuseni Traore. And I think Fuse's impact will be felt if the Cougars are able to extend their stay because, you know, Ali Khalifa hasn't played, you know, in a back-to-back game setting. And he's the kind of guy that usually needs a couple days to, to, you know, get ready to go again because his knee. And he may get into the game tomorrow, play well, play a little or a lot. I don't know, but we haven't seen it yet. And so... You really want Foose to be on top of his game, and he has been today against a long team that has caused him trouble this season in two previous games. Uh, he's been terrific, and uh, it's nice to have two guys that you can split minutes with uh, in, in situations like this. His first free throws miss. This is big. Sellers. As we come back in, Jalen Seller shoots three free throws, and an 84% free throw shooter was three for three, to three today. Misses the first of three. That feels big. Just for momentum. Second of three. Another miss wow. from the 84% guy. All right, well, you better be ready now as he's missed two. Make sure you get this rebound. So the Cougars will keep a double-digit lead through and this free throw. UCF's got a little small. Maybe get Foose to touch this next possession. Three in a row. Oh, oh for three. Wow. He went three for three in the first half, <laughs> Oh for three in the second half, and Foose grabs the rebound. I want a Foose touch. I want to get him down low on Walker. Foose is up high to start. He'll dribble it to the left. Hand off there to Dallin Hall. Dallin, slow dribble. The clock is BYU's friend. 10-second shot, 3.30 game. BYU by 12. Richie, drive, push shot, score! Who else but King Richard? Richie Saunders makes it a 14-point game. 82-68. to 68. 11 second-half points for Richie. For 13 on the day. The three free throws missed. The Saunders make, and it's BYU by 14. Walker cut off at 10 feet. Step through. Squeeze up. Miss. Wow, rebound. Miss. Foose again. That's 10 rebounds. A 12-10 double-double wow. for Fuseni Traore. The Knights shooting themselves in the foot. Three missed free throws. That was a point-blank shot from Walker. Under three minutes to go. Foose. Hands it out to Spencer Johnson, right wing, and he goes up and down, travels with it. He wanted to pass to Foos, and it wasn't there, and he got stuck in the air. But an- another tough turnover for BYU. 
The Cougars are in this, this series of moments where they're just about to put the hammer down and uh, just play. Just use clock is all you have to do at this point. <laughs> all right, 14-point lead. BYU may have enough to get the job done as it stands. Step back three, Johnson. Can you believe this? Uh, I don't know why Noah is on him. That's a big mistake. It's be 82 Johnson. to 71. It's 11. BYU had a possession for a 14 point, or rather for a 16 point lead, and now it's 11. Darius Johnson, another unconscious day. 30 for Johnson. Dallin Hall at 30 feet, 10 second shot clock. Left wing, Spencer Johnson. Back to Dallin straight away. Dallin with. Walker on him. Drives, nice. lobs low to Foos. Foos gets a deep touch, waits, goes up, and threw it off the top of the backboard, <laughs> but he was fouled. So he will get two free throws off a three-second shot clock. What Darius Johnson's doing is extraordinary. Scoreless in the first half at the Marriott Center. He went for 20 after halftime. In his last game before the tournament, he went off in Fort Worth and scored 33 and he's been explosive in this game as Foose makes the free throw 30 for Johnson <laughs> the, 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 the guys we've seen in this Big 12 this year Mark who just go just, off has been a, unbelievable yeah. uh, it's Damian Lillard-esque the way they get hot and there's no shot that's too hard for them but you've got to put Spencer Johnson on him as Foose makes both and what Foose by the way Foose. how money has Foose been wow Six for eight at the free throw line. Double, double, 13 and 10. He has a well-deserved seat, and Tom Homo is among the BYU fans on their feet, giving him a standing ovation as he goes to the bench. All right, 84-71, BYU by 13. Darius Johnson, 13 consecutive games in double figures. Spencer is on him now. All right. But they had to switch. Grading Waterman on Darius. Darius will hop into the paint, scoop, and score again. 32! That's almost more For impressive. Darius Johnson. He's so small, and yet he can score at the, in the rim, too. UCF is pressing in a 12-point, 11-point game, 84-73. Saunders to an open. Waterman for three. No clock. Three missed. Offensive rebound, Spencer Johnson. Go back up with it. No, reset to Richie on the left corner. Drive and kick. Dallin Hall to Spencer Johnson for three. That's Damn. good! That feels like the dagger. That's it. 87-73. BYU by 14. 90 seconds to play. Darius Johnson. Right wing sellers. Pull. Fire. Miss from three. Rebound, Spencer Johnson. That should about do it. BYU will survive in advance, Mark. It's what it's all about. And the Cougar fans sense it. They're on their feet here in Kansas City. Uh, Survive is right, Greg. Wow. 87-73 Cougs. BYU will play tomorrow against Texas Tech. Another early start. And the Cougs got started early today. They were great early. Dallin missing a three, but an offensive rebound. Richie reset Jackson for three. He takes it. He misses it. Defensive rebound. UCF. It will not matter. 55 seconds to go. Antoine Jones, top of the key. BYU 87, UCF 73. Long shot, miss, rebound, Dallin Hall. And UCF's not fouling. BYU will have to take one more shot or take a violation. Either way, they did it. They, they came it. to Kansas City and win their first ever Big 12 championship game here in the second round. It is 87-73. BYU closing it out. It's a 10-second shot clock. It's a 30-second game clock. And here are the fans in Kansas City. Let's let him take it away in this possession. <laughs> Dallin Hall gets the turnover on the shot clock violation. A, hot, a little hot potato there. They didn't want the turnover. Yeah, that's funny. All right, so 18.3 to go. The shot clock is off, and UCF's run is done. This could be an NIT team, Mark, out of the Big 12. UCF's a good team. Oh, man. They, they could cause so somebody good. trouble if they get in the NIT, Shots and I think they in. will. It's so long. Darius Johnson's going to put it on the floor, and that will do it for the Knights in this one. What a game. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we are done here at the T-Mobile Center. Final score, 87-73. to So many big plays down the stretch. Richie Saunders with some massive threes. Foose doing it on both ends. Dallin Hall, when he got back in the game, is a difference maker in the second half. A lot to like about the way the Cougars hung on to win this one. It got interesting. And, you know, the Cougs have seen a lot of large leads slip and drop and go away. And today's lead of 18 slipped and dipped and got down to three. But it got no closer than that. As once the game was to three at 59 to 56, BYU outscored UCF. 
28 to 17 the rest of the way to win it by 14. 87 73 is your final score. Wow. You exhale, you get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, that was something. And BYU came out phenomenally, shot 14 of 30 from the three. Uh, They got big plays when they needed it. Everybody contributed that. Eight guys that played significant minutes, all between 8 and 14 points. That's pretty remarkable. Everybody contributed. Big, big team win. And that's what the story has been for BYU all year long. And a resilient performance when everything appeared to be going against them. They turned it completely around. Got a double-digit lead again. Really, really nice performance to start this tournament for them. All right, post-game recap is coming up next. 87-73, BYU over UCF on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the all-pro capital courtside seats and rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, we will be having a BYU press conference audio shortly as the Cougars will be first into the press conference room, and that will happen just in a matter of moments. So either during our segment now or during... Big O Tires Cougar Post Game Live with Jason Shepard. You will hear uh, the coach, Mark Pope, his comments and player comments as well before we come back to courtside. As for right now, quick wrap up here. Final score BYU 87 and UCF 73. BYU wins on 47% shooting from the field, 47 from the arc. You're not going to beat that. 79 from the free throw line. UCF goes 39, 41, and 67% respectively. BYU and UCF tied in rebounds 38, 38. And the offensive rebounds did go to UCF. 14 to 7, but importantly, the second chance points went to BYU at 10 to 9. BYU led by Fuseni Traore's double double, 14 points, 10 rebounds, 13 for Saunders, 13 for Hall, 12 for Nell, 9 for Waterman, 9 for Johnson, 8 for Robinson and Khalifa. Stewart had one point, Ali Khalifa, 8 points, 5 assists, and no turnovers for no yeah no turnovers for Ali another one of those perfect games for Ali Khalifa Darius Johnson who bedeviled BYU in Provo with 20 second half points scored 32 for the game two games after scoring 33 in Fort Worth he is something 87 73 BYU hangs on to win it Darius Johnson 32 Jones 13 Sellers 12 9 Walker 5 Allen 2 for Silla putting you at 73 Second chance points, they went, I said went to BYU. Points off of turnovers went to UCF 16-6. to Bench points big to BYU 36-15. Paint to UCF 28-20. Fast break to UCF 10-8. And BYU led for 39 minutes and 8 seconds of today's 40 minutes of basketball. BYU 18 assists to only 10 turnovers. UCF 8 assists to 7 turnovers. Things got interesting. Things got tight. Things got tense. And then BYU got serious and closed this one out. Yeah, I mean, that that was uh, fun and tense, and it's odd that you have a double-digit lead for much of the game, and yet it was <laughs> such a nail-biter. Uh, but that's been the nature of Big 12 play for BYU. But, uh, again, showing some real re- resilience. Um, and, and I just love that it's a different guy in different moments, in different night. I mean, Richie hits some big shots. Ali starts the game amazing. Foose with some incredible plays. Dallin Hall comes in after not playing much in the second half and hits a big three right off the bat and makes a huge difference in that second half. There's just so many guys that contribute. Whereas, you know, you look at UCF, it's almost all Darius Johnson. It's amazing to watch a guy like that, but it's also amazing to watch a real team play together. And that's what BYU is. All right, New Skin Data Discovery brought to you by New Skin, your innovative beauty and wellness company that helps you look, feel, and live better. The New Skin Data Discovery, what data do you discover today, Mark? Yeah, so unless my math is off and I, I'm no mathematician, I, I think BYU shot 7 for 15 from 3 in each half. And uh, that is awesome. It that is. is really, really good. That's exactly so, what they did. And, and sometimes BYU get hot and cold and hot in threes, but... Really a consistent, nice three-point shooting job from BYU. At your new skin, data discovery of the game. Big O Tires Cougar Post Game Live, including BYU press conference comments coming up next with Jason Shepard on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.